Hey everybody, this is Travis, your manufactured home nerd. I am in at Freedom Homes in Bryant, Arkansas. I'm gonna show y'all their sign here. They were kind enough to let me kind of stop by and tour their homes. Today we're gonna be looking at the Magnolia by uh, Clayton, built in their Waco 2 factory. As you see on the outside of the house, they have that horizontal cement lap board and you got the, the little cedar shakes look look on the front that's also uh, a hardy board product so it's really nice and it actually goes all the way around the whole house it has this paintable siding now one of the good things about this factory is they have several different color options that you can do and they already pre-packaged color packages for your exterior and your interior when we go in the interior on here you'll see that they have the onyx package is real pretty now you look here on the outside you got the water faucet looks like a little vent right there Ooh, that truck was loud you can come on up to the front here there's an exterior plug in there they got the nice little metal shed roof now all of these homes are upgraded for good insulation uh, energy smart and they're actually going to the energy smart zero on all the homes ordered after July coming in you see that you have a nice little cottage door you walk into a pretty open floor plan. Now this is a 32 by 72, right at 2160 square feet. Four bedroom, three bath. I'll let y'all get a nice look. A kitchen and a living room. I'm back up here to kind of show they set it up almost like a little foyer area here. It is painted sheetrock throughout. You can see the onyx trim. That is an upgraded crown molding. And you got the nice tray ceiling there with ceiling fan. Looks like it's a cordless ceiling fan as well. It might have cords, I can't really tell. And then you got the wood burning fireplace with stone. You can also have an electric option right here. Very nice. And these can be plumbed for gas. That doesn't happen at the factory level, but it does happen once it's on site. You can go pick out a little insert. Looking on the kitchen over here from the living room, it is an open floor plan. Go on in here. That is a quartz countertop in the on the island and on the walls. You do have the option to upgrade that in the bathroom as well. It's really good slick feel. And of course, a real ceramic tile backsplash. It's a this is a stainless appliance package here. So you got the side-by-side -side fridge, built-in microwave hood above the smooth top stove. And then of course, there's your dishwasher right next to the large farm sink. It's a one basin. It's got the upgraded pull-down faucet as well. Very nice. You also have wood fronts on your cabinets and it's pre-lined cabinets as well. And thankfully, Freedom Homes. Jimmy came and walked this house with me before, kind of teach me a little bit about it, and really thankful for that. Caleb's the one that invited me here, so y'all make sure to give Jimmy and Caleb a shout, and y'all get a chance if you're in Bryant and looking for a home. Large pantry with wooden shelves, and they got the transom window. Y'all know how I feel about that natural light, making sure it can get in here. And that is a large walk-in pantry. Of course, there are plenty of plug-ins here. Nice little coffee bar station you could set up there. You got four more plug-ins on that wall. And then a plug-in on the end of your island. They did a good job of color matching. Now off your kitchen here, you got your nice dining room, space for a large table. Y'all notice this is no carpet in the house, leno throughout. They have a nice little transition bar here very low profile so it's not something that will really get in the way now beside the you the dining room you have this sliding glass door now if you choose not to have the sliding glass door you that is an option but then they'll have to have the back door come out the utility room so you lose this space for a freezer and then you got a little freezer space set up here mop sink <clears throat> and then over here washer and dryer built-in shelving above gives you that plenty of space and there's your whole home shut off valve now all of your plumbing in this house is pex plumbing but you also have the option or not the option but they all have the shutoffs at their connections little 
mechanical closet there. That's where your water heater and your furnace is gonna go. I don't know if y'all noticed the nice little barn door right there. It goes into your utility room. Now coming down this hallway, you see their eco B thermostat, but we're going down this way. This is, like I said, a four bedroom, three bath. I got the square sinks. They did a shower here. So you got the 60 inch fiberglass shower, square sinks. Some pretty big drawers down here on the end. Pull out pretty far. Give you space to store all that junk in my house. It's hair ties and lotions and whatnot. And then each bedroom is a really good size. You can easily fit a queen size bedroom in or queen size bed in here with a dresser. And they have a good large window. These are all thermal pane windows. It's got the grids at the top. It's gridless at the bottom. They have the large blinds as well. Now you see it's flat trim in this bedroom. In all the bedrooms, it has a flat trim instead of the, the upgraded crown molding, but it does give it a nice look and it does match color. A large walk-in closet. Not really walk in so much, but you could walk in there easily and reach the edges. Come over here, <clears throat> see bedroom three and four. That was bedroom two. Now this is a little coat closet, uh, but you can easily make it a linen closet here right between these two bedrooms. Now, one of the big features on this particular bedroom, one, you have two windows, with a little transom space up above, let all that natural light in. And then we're gonna show how big this room is. A lot of space in here for a queen size bed as well. But then you have a Jack and Jill bathroom. So it's perfect for those kids that are messy or you just wanna keep it a little bit more private. Still got the ceramic sink. This one's got the fiberglass uh, tub shower combo, but you can do just the shower if you want. Another one of those closets. All the closets are about the same size. Now each one of these bedrooms has a ceiling fan in it. One of the things I learned today is that in Arkansas, you don't have to do a dirt pad. You, um, you can just cut it out of the field because their water table's a lot lower. Whereas in Louisiana, you by law have to have a dirt pad. I'm just gonna help out Freedom Homes here. Let's show y'all kind of what the pricing they have on this. This house is on sale. Yeah, four bed, three bath, it's 2,100 square feet. But you can see that they that price there, 209999 includes delivery concrete runners, the energy smart upgrades set up, central heat and air, as well as two four x four platform decks and a five year home protection and skirting installed. So that's pretty nice. Now we're gonna go check out the master bedroom. Just a little entryway here. We're gonna see master closet. Now a lot of people be like, oh, just one little closet like that when it's got the wood shelves the rods so you can hang all your clothes a lot of space in there then you got your whole master bedroom so in my house that would have been the his because now we're looking at the hers double line shelves on the back wall with space on the side walls for your dresses large walk-in closet two large windows plenty of blinds huge bedroom they got a queen size bed in here, but you could easily expand that to be a king size and still fit another dresser entertainment center in here. Now you got the barn door, sliding barn door. Now this is a solid wood product, but it's not, well, I mean, it is factory made in that it's made in a factory, but it's not made in a factory that makes doors. It is made at the actual home builder. So you can see that there are some gaps and stuff in that door but it is a nice little rough stained wood. Coming into the master bathroom, you got a 72 inch ceramic tile shower, fiberglass basin. You know, one thing I didn't even point out is that you have the orange peel texture ceilings in this house and can lights almost everywhere. Now this shower is huge. There's your handle there, so you're not gonna get wet when you turn it on. And you have a nice little linen closet over here toilet paper whatever you like and of course a huge tub 
It's a standalone tub, but you do have the option to do a built-in deck tub if you choose. And I got these nice shelves around the tub, so you got a space to put some of your candles, everything like that. You've got space behind it too. I didn't even point that. You could put your little triangular shelf there, put your towels on, whatever you like. And a large transom window above it as well. And a huge window. But it, thank goodness it has a blind so you have your privacy up above your vanity area. Two sinks, two drawer stacks, and those are some big drawers as well. And you still got plenty of space underneath. And it is all pre-lined. And of course, remember, we had those quartz countertops in the kitchen. That is an option in here as well. Super nice, thick ceramic sinks, good faucets. And those nice mirrors. And then of course, your private water closet here. Now, if you guys like this home or have questions about this home, I urge you to reach out to Freedom Homes of Bryant. They would be very happy to help you. I want to say thank you for walking the home with me today. I really love it that y'all love these home tours. And, you know, don't forget to leave a comment about which home you'd like to see next or, you know, what you liked about this home. And, of course, I can't sell this home. This is a Clayton home that we don't carry at Bolton Homes. But Freedom Homes would be happy to help you, and we'd be happy to help you with your other homes if you're interested in them. Um, but also don't forget, if you enjoy these home tours, Make sure you subscribe, give it a like, help me out there. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day at the Happy House Hunting.